Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Janelle and this week I am showing you guys how to make some DIY baby teethers. So I've been a big fan of these ever since I found out I was pregnant. I was like, I really want these. They're so cute. They have that like wooden nature type of theme to it, but then like some bright colors. But online, they can be quite expensive and we all know how expensive baby stuff really is. So I want to try making some of these on my own. So I'm going to show you guys how I did it and you can easily find all these different pieces that I'm going to show you that you need for this project online. I found mine on eBay, but there's also, which took a little while to get in because it's further away. Um, but there's also Amazon, there's a bunch of different places. So I'm going to link some stuff in the description box below. So make sure you check that out at the end of the video if you are interested. But as you saw, these were the end project and I am so happy with them. They are a bunch of different sizing. So this one's a little larger. This one's a lot smaller with a little fish. This one's like kind of like medium with an elephant. So there's a variety of different things you can do for this project. And I really want to make some pacifier chains as well with these beads. So that's something else I'm going to be looking into doing. So if you want to see a tutorial on that as well, make sure you let me know in the comments below and I'll try to do that. But let's just jump right into the video. Oh, wait, before I have to concern, be careful what you buy online. Because originally I thought, I was like, oh, this is going to be like the cutest little like teether toy or something, whatever. You can buy these like little silicone things. And it was like a little cappuccino coffee guy. And I thought this was going to be bigger so I could actually use it for the project. Look how tiny it is. Like, this thing's not going to work. So, like, what am I going to do with this thing now? So, make sure you read the measurements of things because, like I said, I thought this was going to be a lot bigger. It is not. So, I'm even going to add it to my keychain or something. But I think this is definitely too small for a teether toy. But let's just jump right into the video. And I'm going to show you guys how to make these DIY baby teethers. For this DIY, you'll need a variety of different beads, and I'll make sure to link all these down below in the sizing that I got in the description box. But I got a variety of different wood ones, colored ones, circle, different shapes, a whole bunch of different ones, and as well as these wooden rings. And you can even find these in really fun shapes. Like I picked up an elephant, there's a fish, there's a whole ton. Then you also need some string, and I'll link this down below as well, and a pair of scissors. I personally found it the easiest to lay a pattern out on my table. This just helped me to visualize what I wanted it to look like and the colors and different things of like that. If I wanted to add more color, maybe more wood. But from there, once I had the pattern, I started threading it on. And as you can see, when you keep going, depending on the thread or the string that you are using, it can fray a little bit. So just use a pair of scissors and cut that off and you can continue easily threading on the beads. And what's fun about this DIY is that there is no color pattern you have to do. You can really have fun with it and just continue going. And the beads would fly all over, the, all over the place, but that's okay. But once you have everything onto your string, you want to thread on your two rings or maybe your elephant, whatever you're using, and then tie two knots. So I tied one and then tied another, just making sure it was very secure. And then cut off a little bit of the excess string, but make sure you actually have a little bit as we're going to thread it through the bead. As you can see here, I have about an inch and a half to two inches of the string left on both ends. And then from there, I am just threading that through back through another bead just to make sure that the knot cannot come undone or anything like that. So I did that with both ends. And if you can get it through more beads, I definitely suggest this. Mine just went through the larger wooden beads the best. So that is what I did. And then once you have them both through there, you can cut off uh, any extra string from there and then just really try to pull it. And sometimes the knot will even go into the larger bead and then you can't even see any of the string. Now that you've mastered one, it's time to make more. So I really want to make one with the little elephant and fish guys that I picked up. So I did the same thing. I made a pattern, same process as I showed you before. And I ended up having three of these guys and they're so cute. I think I'm definitely making more and probably gonna turn some even into little pacifier clips as well. So there's a whole bunch of different variety of things you can do. I hope you guys liked that video. Please let me know in the comments below what you thought and if you're gonna try this DIY. And as always, if you have any suggestions of maybe some other baby DIY projects you want me to attempt or maybe just DIY projects in general or a topic or something, 
or anything, let me know in the comments below as I'll try to make one of those videos as well. But as always, please make sure please, uh, to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it as it really helps my channel and give uh, subscribe to the channel because I'm back every week with more videos. Um, Bay related, I'm especially going to get into a lot more vlogging and stuff. Hopefully once this little one arrives, which I mean, it could, it could be like tomorrow. I have no idea. It is, it is coming quickly. So make sure you stay tuned for all of that. Um, head to my Instagram as I do a lot of updates there as well. But as always, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.